Machine Gun Kelly, the original gangster, was a far cry from the modern musician of the same name. Born George Kelly Barnes, 1900-1954, in Memphis, Tennessee, he carved his path into history during the lawless prohibition era. From bootlegger to kidnapper, Kelly's criminal career started modestly. He dabbled in bootlegging, a common activity during prohibition, when the sale of alcohol was banned. However, a stint in jail in 1928 for selling liquor on Native American land seems to have been a turning point. There, he met associates who influenced him towards more serious crimes. After his release, he married Catherine Thorne in 1930. Unlike the stereotypical gangster's mall, Catherine actively pushed Kelly towards a life of crime. She even bought him his signature weapon, a Thompson submachine gun, which earned him the infamous nickname Machine Gun Kelly. The daring but flawed Urschel kidnapping. In 1933, Kelly's notoriety skyrocketed after the kidnapping of oil tycoon Charles F. Urschel. Unlike most victims, Urschel cleverly left behind a trail of clues during his captivity. This meticulous record-keeping proved invaluable to the FBI's pursuit of Kelly and his gang. Despite collecting a hefty ransom of $200,000 equivalent to nearly $5 million today, Kelly's days of freedom were numbered. The Urschel kidnapping became a turning point, showcasing the growing effectiveness of the FBI in combating organized crime. Short-lived freedom and Hollywood legacy. Kelly's capture in 1933 marked the end of his brief reign of terror. He was sentenced to life in prison, where he died in 1954. Ironically, his infamy was immortalized, though inaccurately, in the 1958 film Machine Gun Kelly starring Charles Bronson. The movie sensationalized Kelly's life, portraying him as a more heroic figure than he was in reality. Today, the name Machine Gun Kelly is more likely to be associated with the contemporary musician Colson Baker. However, the original gangster story provides a glimpse into the dark underbelly of the Prohibition era and the tactics used by law enforcement to combat it.